Phrasal verbs with take. Let's start with our first phrasal verb, take off. This means to remove something, like clothing or glasses. For example, it's warm inside, so I'll take off my coat. I'll take my shoes off. No, just don't take your shoes off. Just take it off, take it off. The second meaning of take off means something becomes very popular or successful very quickly. For instance, this new song by my favorite band is taking off. Everyone loves it. The cheese shop is really taking off. His massage business is really taking off. Take off can also refer to the action of an airplane leaving the ground and beginning its flight. For example, the plane will take off in 10 minutes, so please make sure you're on board. Grandma, our plane takes off in 41 minutes. I have to get to the airport and stop Fritz Fritz before the plane takes off. Take over. This means to get control of something or to do something instead of someone else. Take over. Higher! Take over. This is yours. Higher! Take over. For instance, after the boss retired, Sarah took over as the new manager. He took over from the previous headmaster in July. Take in. It means to understand or absorb information. For example, wow, there are so many new rules at my new job. That's a lot to take in. The brain takes in information, like a new language or a math equation, much more quickly. I'm taking in information, I'm processing. I know it's a lot to take in. It's a lot to take in. Take back. Take means to grab something. Back means to return something to where it came from. So, take back can mean to return something to where it came from. For example, I need to take back this book to the library. Take back can also mean to return something you have bought to a shop. Is it too small? Take it back and get a refund. I got them for Nicolaj's birthday, but it turns out he's allergic and the pet store won't take them back. I'll take it back to the department store in the morning. The store said that they won't take it back because you've signed for it. Another way we use take back is to express regret something we said. For instance, I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. I take back what I said before. In this case, take back means apologizing for what was said. I take back what I said. Actually, I take it back what I said earlier. They're... Take on. This means to accept a particular job or responsibility. For instance, I'm ready to take on the new project at work. I can do more, sir. I like to take on additional responsibilities. Good. Mrs. Shaw, Miss Garcia, you will take on the task together. So, you're going to take on a little teaching job. I suggested that I take on this task force. Take apart. Take apart means to disassemble or separate something into its individual pieces. For example, I need to take apart this computer to fix it. To take everything apart. Figure out what's important. What are you doing? Taking this old clock apart. Is it broken? Moving on to take up. This means to start a hobby or activity. You might say, I want to take up painting in my free time. Angela used to be a model and has decided to take it up again. You could use that time to take up a hobby. <laughs> you can't take up golf. We need that money to send Steve to private school. Please, take up tennis. Have a leisurely lunch with a friend. The next phrasal verb is take after. When you say someone takes after someone else, it means they resemble or have similar qualities to that person. For example, she really takes after her mother. You bobbleheads really take after your mom. Actually, Jean, you take more after your father. No, you take after your father. Mm -hmm. Take out. Take out means to remove something from a place. Don't forget to take out the trash before you leave. Teddy, <laughs> you want your allowance? Take out the trash. Take down. Take down means to remove something from where it is. I'll just take it down. 
Another way we use takedown is to write or record information. For example, during the meeting, I'll take down all the important points in my notebook. Lastly, we can also use takedown figuratively to defeat someone or something. The hero will take down the villain in the final battle. I'll take him down. Take him down! Take him down! Quiz and speaking practice. If the skirt doesn't fit, you can take it. If the skirt doesn't fit, you can take it back. Let's practice. If the skirt doesn't fit, you can take it back. His career finally took after years of hard work. His career finally took off after years of hard work. His career finally took off after years of hard work. Don't take more responsibilities than you can handle. Don't take on more responsibilities than you can handle. Don't take on more responsibilities than you can handle. He took for his manager two weeks ago. He took over as manager two weeks ago. He took over as manager two weeks ago. It took me a while to take all the information. It took me a while to take in all the information. It took me a while to take in all the information. What new hobby do you want to take? I want to take painting in my free time. What new hobby do you want to take up? I want to take up painting in my free time. What new hobby do you want to take up? I want to take up painting in my free time. I think you take after your grandma. I think you take after your grandma. I think you take after your grandma. If you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss a lesson.